Hey everybody, Happy New Year! My friend John, who's hello. off camera, yeah, hello, picked up Hammerfall from Amazon for 25 bucks, and there's been a couple unboxing videos. This is going to be our unboxing video because we just do this stuff on the fly. So he's already unwrapped it for us. Let's take a look. And we've got some models here for uh, size comparison purposes. All right, let's 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 take a look, John. First up, we have what I'm assuming is the rule book models. Ooh, look at that green. <laughs> and that is a T64, I'm assuming. So I painted my T34 for uh, Gale Force 9's tanks, this jade green. So I'm just a little bit off with the color, but that's okay. Heck, while we have it open here. Yeah, that's a much bigger tank. Look at that top hole compared to the whole tank. Alright, anyway. So, let's see. And then we have a... It comes with a crew. Who is this crew? John, is this a U.S.? I don't know. Um, I'm going to assume that this is a U.S. tank driver. For the M1A1. So, it's nice that it comes with one of those. All right, let's look at this. Actually, the, the, the bright green is the Abrams. Oh, okay, so this is the Abrams. Pretty big tank. Uh, let's compare it to our Super Pershing. Yeah, Abrams is obviously larger. But, you know, this is World War Three battles, so you got to have a Cobra Hiss. <laughs> so the Hiss is still bigger. Yay. Go for the hiss. Let's see if the battery still works. Maybe. We got one laser cannon that works. Oh well. Anyway, so that's the M1. This is the T34, right? No, that's part of the M1 sprue. This is still the M1 sprue. Jesus Christ. That's got two Commander Copolos in here that fell off. So. Okay. And here's a T64. And the T-64s. Mother Russia. And it's got more crew. These are... So I'm assuming these. each sprue is a T-64. How many T-64s came with this thing? Three. Three? Yeah, so each sprue is one T-64. Very nice. Of course, comes with the dice. Red for Russian, blue for American. Makes sense, duh. Um, so I'm Please assuming you, you're only going to need three dice per unit? I, I have no idea. I gotta read the rules. <laughs> yeah, we haven't read the rules yet. We're going to play this because we are avid fans of the Gale Force 9's tanks. So, from my understanding, uh, the the rules for Team Yankee are super easy, so it shouldn't be anything to just play a tanks game using the Team Yankee's rules for the modern stuff. Your cards. Nice layout. That's cool. I like that. And these are what, couplers? Yeah, for the teeth for the Abrams. Put those aside. More crew. So you only get one. Metal one. One metal crew. And it's got the crew for all three of them. For, all, for, for the uh, T-64s and Abrams. And the sprue too. So I'm assuming that these rounded helmets are for the Abrams. Yeah. And the, other, and the other guys are the Russians. And he has somewhat of a Nazi thing going there. <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> All right. So rule book. Soft cover rule book. Nice. It's got art throughout. 
It's always a plus. Yeah. Well, not art pictures, but, you know. Always a fan of these mini rule books. I don't need the fluff. World War Three. watch the movie Red Dawn, and you're good to go. <laughs> Your Start Here book, which is always welcome in starter sets. Let's see this book, Assembly Guides. And Battlefront is known to have, I know at least in my case, when they release stuff, sometimes these assembly guides are not correct. Like for the Gale Force 9 tanks, my Sherman was totally fucked off. It, it had pieces going that didn't fit or anything like that. So first game, movement and steps, shooting steps. Okay, so this is pretty quick. All right, it's cool. And then we have cardboard terrain. The infamous cardboard terrain. So I guess that's, I think there's two pieces in there. I'm not sure. Whoops. Yes, there is. Okay, so uh, is this what's in there? Uh, no. No, this is something you buy separately. Yes. Of course, product placement. All plastic, yay! Red Thunder Thunder. I'll open up the terrain here. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's piles and piles of plastic. So these were going to be for size comparisons, but I think you got the idea. And, you know, this is the Blockade Buster by Matchbox. Kind of hard to find. Right now, the current wave, if you find this, does come in gray. And this beast of a thing is from Fast and Furious 7. I can't remember what it's called. But it's used, being used for a sci-fi army. Until we can figure out stats for Hammerfall. That should be interesting. Okay, so... This is norm for Gale Force 9 and Battlefront. Yeah. So I'm assuming this is going to be a two-story building barricades, I guess? Jersey barriers? Yeah. Another building. Foliage. And objective markers. This does nothing. More foliage, another building. More markers. I don't know what the ace means. Bailed out. We all know that horrible, horrible bailed out thing. Another building. And another building. So it's not bad. It's for goods for twenty five bucks a starter set. It's not bad at all. Oh, don't want anything falling apart. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shilka uh, would not be hidden very well. You still see the front end. This is not a uh, Battlefront Shilka. This is a Zvezda model. Can't recommend those enough. Got to thank John again for introducing me to those. And let's say you're playing in the Philippines because they still use Persians and Shermans. All right, so that should be about it. Pile of plastic, some dice, one piece of metal. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good one.